Hello everyone, Dr. Zia Tahir here. This video tutorial is solution to problem 1.14 of mechanical vibration, fifth edition by S.S. Rao. And the problem is the same, uh, similar in sixth edition. So, and that is problem 1.14 and this is a statement from 5th edition and in 6th edition statement is the same but just like uh, these loads now they are in SA unit so here it is in pound but that is in SA unit and then these values are changed accordingly so in this problem an electronic instrument weighing 200 pound or 1000 newton is supported by a rubber mounting whose force deflection relationship is given by fx of 800x times by 40 plus 40x cubed where force and the deflection are in pounds and inches but here they are newtons and millimeters determine the following equivalent linear spring constant of the mounting so now to find equivalent spring constant of the mounting so in the spring element topic 1.7 so it is 1.7.2 that is a linearization of a non-linear spring and in fifth edition that is in the spring elements and then that is for non-linear springs and again it is 1.7.2 linearization of a non-linear spring so uh, when uh, you have to solve this problem so for this uh, to solving this problem we have to assume that uh, in this problem we have to assume that static equilibrium of load acting on the spring cause a deflection of x star so that is x star and then from there we need to uh, find static equilibrium under whatever is the load being applied and then the equivalent spring stiffness for that linearized spring at x dot is given by df over dx at x naught so basically what we have to do that we have to solve this problem in a way like when a force relationship is given and with that force relationship, we need to assume that uh, static equilibrium deflection and then by substituting the value of f into the original equation, we need to first find the value of x dot and then after, uh, once we have that value of x star and then we can find out st st uh, stiffness of the linear spring by just differentiating the equation. So, uh, we are assuming from the book what he says that the static equilibrium load F acting on the spring cause a deflection of X star or if I am going to use the, the new version, so then the same one I am going to use that. So, it is F is equal to 800 X star plus 40 X star cube and this f is basically equal to that f is equal to that weight which is attached so which is 200 pounds and 200 pounds so it will become 200 into 8000 x star plus oh, sorry 800 and then like that so if you are uh, looking for problem 1.14 from the 6th edition, so just you have to uh, repeat the same procedure and then the final answer I'll uh, from 6th edition, I'll put that at the end of this tutorial. So now uh, you got that one and this equation is a cubic equation 40 x star cubed plus 800 x star minus 200 is equal to 0 so that is a cubic equation which is ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d is equal to 0 and then you have to solve this equation so i'll prefer to use calculator to solve uh, this equation 
so if you have both of these calculators so in the mod if you will go mod and then it will give you equation and then further in the polynomial you can go for degree of polynomial as 3 so then you can use both of these calculator to solve this cubic equation and I'm going to solve use the calculator to solve this equation. so now after solving uh, using calculator the value of x star comes as 0 0.249226 and the other two values are complex values so these values are not valid so I am going to use only valid value of x star which is 0.249226 so once I have calculated that value so then spring stiffness is uh, spring stiffness is k is equal to df over dx at the value of x dot so now the equation which is uh, equation of spring is 800x plus 40x cubed so you need to take its first order derivative and then need to substitute the value of f there so now the derivative df over dx is 800 plus 120x squared and then k using equation 1.7 k is a linearized spring constant so that is delta f or df over dx at x star so that is 800 plus 120 into x star squared so after substituting the value of the valid value of x star so then this linear uh, stiffness of linear light spring comes at 807.453 pound per inch and then the b part of it deflection of the mounting cross point to equivalent linear light spring so now we need to find the deflection so for that part b it is very much simple that k f is equal to k into delta or into x so now the force which is given there already that is uh, so now x will be equal to force divided by the displacement or uh, by stiffness so the display uh, force is 200 pounds and then divided by 807.453 so then that comes as 0.247692 and that is the end of the tutorial so if you have to use a solve from six tutorial uh, from the same one problem using six addition so then you'll have that equation and then the valid value of x will be 6.08273 and then k is equal to df over dx and the value of k comes as 179.199 newton per millimeter so thank you very much for watching